Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me today. And today I'm going to show you two steps on how to get the best vocal takes. This example that I'm going to show you is in Personas Studio One version 4 Prime Edition, which is the free DAW. Of course, you can use it in the artist as well as in the pro version, but remember, this is about the Prime Edition. Once you have your backing track and then you've got a channel for your microphone that you want to record your vocals, there is one other option you can use to ease up things, is to put plugins on the way in. Here's what I mean. We go into our inputs, we can actually see how we've got the inputs here. And this is coming from my audio interface, which is the Yamaha AG03. Now, on the left one and the right one is my vocals. Now, if I double click, insert option comes up. And here, I can actually have an insert that will effect on the way in. This is before it gets recorded onto the track. Okay? So, remember that. So, anything we put here will be effected. And that's what we want. So, let's put a channel strip here. Now, in the channel strip, we can certainly have some of the options added to it before it gets recorded. One of the things we can do is add the low cut. Anything below 100 for vocals, most likely we don't need it because, you know, there's no sound there. So we can get rid of that. Rumbles, all gone. The next thing we can do is we can have the expander. Let's have that at 50%. And what this does is, whenever the singer is not singing, it turns on the expander. That means it's like turning the volume down, silences the background. Okay, so now we have clean signal coming in as well. So noises between phrases are not recorded. Great, that eases up things as well. The next thing we can do, and here we need to be a little bit careful, how much compression we need to use. I tend to actually have it on medium and have it probably about 50%. That will give me about, as you can see, 6 dB, minus 6 dB of compression. Now that's only because my signal are, you know, about minus, uh, let's see if I speak, about minus 10, minus 7 dB. You know, that's what it's uh, showing. So minus 6 dB can take care of some of the volume variations that your vocalist can have. As to EQ, I tend to leave that alone because we can EQ later on to our heart's content. Remember, if we start changing the tone of our vocalist, it will be recorded that way, printed that way. So I tend to leave that alone unless you really, really need to. So that's step number one. So that's how you can actually control the signal coming in before it gets recorded and that will make it much easier when you are mixing. So let me give you a demonstration. To uh, make this effective, I'm just going to increase the low cut frequency about uh, 200 so we'll be able to tell the difference and then the compression I'm going to turn it all the way 100% so we can actually see how much compression is going to happen, what the difference is going to be. Uh, expand, we can leave it as is, or let's expand 100% as well. And let's put into bypass mode first, so we can actually see what it's going to record without the channel strip. And then halfway through the verse, I'll uh, disable the bypass, so we can actually see what the waveform looks like. And that's what's going to end up being recorded in the end. So that's why you need to be sh make sure that compression and expand are at the right settings. Um, I should also mention, because of the way my video capture works, you won't be able to hear the background music when I'm recording my vocals, uh, but um, it will come back later on when we listen to it. And here we go. On a hill I stand, waiting for you, 
And it's not the same Not without you The whole world to me Feels so lonely Like in a desert Or out at sea Okay, so that was one take. So let's have a look on the screen and we can certainly see when the channel strip is uh, in bypass mode, you can see the levels are really high up. And then when we had full compression on, you can see how it actually affects the recording. So you can adjust your compression settings and then you'll be able to see how it actually um, sounds best to you. Obviously, you don't want to over compress the way I've done it here. I'm only done it so you can actually physically see what it looks like having compression on. So let's have a listen. And I'm just going to solo that one out and we'll be able to hear the difference. So not only volume difference we'll be able to hear, we're also going to hear some tonal changes because of the 200 hertz that we put in. Here we go. On a hill I stand waiting for you compression on and it's not the same not without you very compressed the whole world to me very thin as well feel so lonely like in a desert or out at sea okay very quickly i'm just going to slice this up and then bring up the volume to the same level as as the other ones. As you can see, it because being medium, some of the initial transients have passed through. So let's have a quick listen now. Waiting for you. And it's not the same. Not without you. The whole world to me. Well, I hope... Now you know what you can do with the inserts at the input of your recording in Studio One version 4, in this case, the Prime Edition. So let's have a quick listen before I tell you the step number two. Just going to turn that off. You can turn the input off. And I'm just going to send that to reverb and sidechain. If you haven't seen my luscious reverb explanation video you can click somewhere up there and then you'll be able to watch that as well so we don't need this one as well so let's have a quick listen on a hill i stand waiting for you and it's not the same not without you the whole world to me Anyway, that's what it sounds like. Step two to get the best vocal sound recording in Studio One version 4 Prime Edition, the free DAW, of course, is the source of your sound. And in this case, is your vocalist. We got to make sure that we get a good vocalist. So I would tend to record uh, the singer maybe at least three times, if not five and see how they actually sound. Now this is important so that we can actually get the best out of his or her singing. And by this time, if they still not write about their you know, timing or their pitch, you know, uh, give them a break, uh, relax, chat, have fun, and go back in and do another take, right? So by now you would have had 10 takes. If by then, your vocalist hasn't been able to capture um, the vocals with great timing as well as pitch and emotions, you might want to send them home, okay? Send them away, tell them to practice a bit more and then uh, come back maybe in a couple of weeks' time to try it again, okay? Trust me, don't prolong it any longer because your vocalist by then is really tired. The other thing is... Remember, you are working in Studio One version 4 Prime Edition. There is no timing correction 
there is no pitch correction. You really need to get your singer to put that timing and pitch correctly in your recording. Okay? So send them away, come back after a couple of weeks, and then try it again. Uh, do the same thing. You know, do five takes. Doesn't matter. Even the first take is the best one. Take another one and another one. A lot of the times I find myself, usually the second take is the best one out of the five, right? It doesn't get any better in time. A lot of the time emotions come in on the first or the second take. But just in case you do record more takes because you can comp them. So you can take the best out of the five and move them up to the main line. If you want to learn about comping, I do have a video about comping. I'm sure I'll have a link somewhere up here or in the description as well. So after the second session, if they still not in time or in correct pitch, tell the band to get a new singer. Don't waste your time because your time is important because if you are using Studio One Prime, that means you have just started into the recording and uh, you, you, you're trying to get experience. You want to get good experience. Okay, obviously, you can't purchase, you don't have the funds to purchase the artist version or the pro version or a DAW that has, let's say, time correction and pitch correction, right? Don't waste your time. I know you can do it in Prime. I do have a video uh, you can't follow it. Do that for your own songs. But if you're recording someone else and they haven't made it by the second session, tell the band to get a new singer because your time is important. Don't waste your time, okay? Don't waste your time. You have limited time on this planet, so use it well. That's my advice to you. Don't rely on pitch correction or, uh, or timing corrections for your vocalist because like in my case I wouldn't accept it because if that singer or that band singing with uh, you know that singer singing with that band is on stage and they're out of time they're out of pitch your name is on there because you're recording them okay they have to be just as good live than they just as good they are in their stu in your studio okay so take my advice uh, don't waste time. So that's step number two to get best vocals is try once, give them a break. They come back, they're still not good. Then tell them to practice more or don't give up their day jobs. Anyway, till next time, as always, have a great time making music and I'll see you in the next video.